So what we need to do is to get some polythene. Cover our jig. So that when everything's covered in glue, we don't end up gluing the stem to the jig. A staple gun is quite handy for this, as long as the staples disappear into the plywood. Well, we're going to have to give them a tap with a hammer, I think. But it does allow you to get the polythene down into the corner. The one thing that you have to watch for is when you actually clamp the laminates in, a piece of polythene doesn't get itself in between the laminates. Because obviously that wouldn't be very good from an adhesion point of view. So we just want to make sure our staples are down flush with the polythene. That's that. What we want to do is just to clamp our jig to the trestles because there's going to be quite a bit of weight and pressure on it. Uh, so we don't want a whole lot to upend itself at the critical moment really. To laminate these up, we're going to use epoxy resin with some uh, microfibers mixed in. Just normal um, multi-purpose epoxy resin really. Mixed in the ratio of 5 to 1. Give the resin a good mix before we start adding the additives. These are microfibers, which are really just, I think, cotton fibers that help interlock. and wiggle their way between the wood and the epoxy and the wood the other side and all that sort of business apparently. Give them a stir in. And then a sprinkling of colloidal silica.
obviously this is the inside piece that's our bundle of laminations this is our inside piece so that doesn't get glued so we do that we smother this with glue drop that one on smother that until we've gone through the pile Now we have made the width of the laminations about three eighths of an inch or ten millimeters wider than the finished stem needs to be. And that's really because trying to get them all lined up when they're all slipping about covered in glue is an absolute nightmare it's an achievement just to get them clamped up in shape roughly so we've just given ourselves a bit of leeway there so that if they're a bit wiggly on each other up and down we have got enough there to be able to plane it back to our finished size of two inches You need to be reasonably generous with the epoxy. We don't want the, the whole thing to be swimming in the stuff, but we do want it to squeeze out everywhere and not leave us with any voids. So you just want a nice generous coating on each piece really the epoxy does generate heat when it's reacting with itself so if you mix up a huge pot and then take your time distributing it it can start to get a bit thick and start setting so it's better to mix up several smaller amounts and the flatter the container the better really and we're doing okay like this it's only in the pot for five ten minutes at the most um, but once it's spread out and on the wood it probably starts curing maybe 90 minutes ish but you've got 24 hours before it's fully cured so you've, you've got half an hour or so to to mess around and clamp it up and, and play with it Laminating up isn't isn't cheap in terms of material or time. To get this pile of laminations, we've thrown away at least half as half of the timber in shavings and sawdust while we've been making these strips. And then you get strips that fail and get chucked on the firewood pile. So you've got quite a bit of timber, quite a bit of epoxy, quite a bit of time. Um, which an oak bend would have taken half an hour to draw around the pattern, cut it out and that's what we're going to end up with this, with this tomorrow when the glue's dry but this does give a much more stable solid piece of timber at the end yeah if you wanted to make laminated frames for the inside of the boat it'd be almost identical you can make up a pattern make up a jig cut the strips glue them together uh, if you're 
going for laminated knees or smaller items then you probably want thinner strips because they'd be curving around a much tighter radius um, and most laminated knees or breast hooks or quarter knees that sort of thing tend to have a, a, a solid piece of timber in the in the corner of the knee if you like with then some pretty strips laminated around the top of them and usually in a, a small boat if they have laminated knees and that sort of thing it tends to be alternate sort of mahogany and spruce or Uh, different coloured cedars or something to contrast each other. This has worked out fairly well. We've got to the last strip to be glued and we've turned down to the last scraping of glue out of the pot. So. Now this is where it gets pretty messy and horrible sometimes. We've got our laminates there and our pence pen line that was straight is now all over the shop because we haven't been watching it while we've been gluing up some sort of sense back to it. <laughs> 